Welkom to my home lab. In previous videos, I installed Open Media Vault 7 and Open Media Vault Extras. Today, I want to install Docker and Portainer. We start the video on the website from Open Media Vault 7. We have a very good documentation. And here you see Docker in Open Media Vault 7. You have a lot of explanation. You're going to see that in a minute. The second is Docker in Open Media Vault 7. Also, more in depth information. So, we go to our dashboard. You see, I want to log in admin and the password. Okay, we are logged in, we see the dashboard, and as you can rem remember, we have a lot of plugins and Open Media Vault extras. You see here Docker repo. We have to enable it to install Open Media Vault 7 Docker Compose. See here, please install the Open Media Vault Compose to provide Docker functionality within Open Media Vault web interface. So the first thing is to enable this, save it, only take a minute. Et voilà. This is okay. Now we go to the plugins and search for Docker. See here, Open Media Vault Compose version 7.6.13, the Open Media Vault Compose plugin. We select it and install. Confirm it. Yes. And you're going to see it's going to download and install the plugin. It's only going to take a minute. I come back when it's finished. Et voilà. End of line means everything is okay and installed. We can close it. And we have to confirm it. Pending configuration changes. Apply. Yes. Only one minute. Et voilà. Everything is installed. If we go now to services, you have Compose. We have a new service. We can open it and a lot of menu information, settings, files, configs, services, images, networks. But we start with settings. As you can see, we have to do some configuration. One folder, two folder, data, backup a folder, and Docker. So First, we need to create four folders. One here, 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 and here. The next thing we need to do is to configure the shared folders. We go to storage, file systems. You see, I have one file system. We go to shared folders and create four folders. One Docker Compose. Docker data, Docker backup, and Docker. So we go to the create, the name, so Docker compose. The name you can choose whatever you want, but I choose Docker compose. We select a file system. You see the part is already gone. Okay. Administrator read write, users read write, others read only. That's okay. Tax, Docker, Compose. A name. Save it. And we have our first shared folder. 
Hit confirm it. Apply. Yes. Don't take a minute. Et voilà. We have our first folder. Again, create. Name Docker data. Score data. Again, the name. You can choose whatever you want. File system. Our file system. The path is okay. Again, read, write, read, write, read only. Okay. And Docker data. Okay, save it. Et voilà. We have two file shared folders. Apply it. Yes. Only one minute. Et voilà. Again, create. Name Docker Backup. Good. File system. Okay. It's okay. Again, administrate read write like before. Tax Docker backup. Again, this name, this name, you can choose whatever you want. Save it. Et voilà. Apply it. Yes. Only one minute. And we have already three folders. Now we create the last one. Docker. Again, the file system. The path is okay. Administrator read right, but before tax Docker. Save it. Voila. It's okay. And apply it. Yes. Only one minute. Et voilà. The four folders are created. You see here we have notifications. It's all things happen here. So we can dismiss all. Okay. Now we go to services, compose, settings, and select our folders. So the first one you see here, location of compose files. So the first one we choose Docker Compose. Okay. Owner of directories root. root. You can select our user. Our username. Groups. We select Docker. Here, Docker. The only thing we need to do is to give our username the group from Docker. We do that in a minute. Again, administer users. Users. We need to read write also. Webla. Data. Data folder. Yep, down. Okay. Backup. The backup folder. Okay. And the Docker folder. See here, leave blank to use the custom etc docker daemon.json. But we have created a folder, so we need to select it. Therefore, we go back. We maybe first we save it. We go back to storage. Shared folder and copy the absolute path from the Docker shared folder. Click on it. Okay. Services. Compose. Settings. Go down and paste it in. Et voilà. Now we can save it. Apply it. Yes. Only one minute. And you see here, enable Docker repo. You can click on it. Et voilà, Docker is installing. It's only take a minute. I come back when it's finished. Et voilà, end of line means everything is okay. We can close it. 
you have other things reinstall but you have only install it now on restart it we are ready to install container therefore we go to files add and as you can see we have a list we can add the docker manual from an example or from the net. In this case, we use example. We have a list here, all different apps. I do portainer. And as you can see, we have two, three choices. We have portainer, portainer agent. It's very interesting if you have two or three servers. Portainer OMV Extras is for compatibility with older versions. So we choose Portainer. Add example compose file. Name Portainer. It's okay. Description. You can choose Portainer or whatever you want. It's only take a minute. Voilà. Apply. Yes. The file is ready. Now we can select it and click on up. So we run the Docker file. Up. See, it's pulling the image to our computer and install it. It's going to take a minute. I come back when everything is ready. Et voilà. End of line means everything is okay. We can close. You see, up. And as you can see, we can use port 9000. To go to Portainer. Also, 9443 is for a secure connection. We go to services, and as you can see, we have Portainer, Portainer running. It's only 30 seconds. The ports, service, the project running means everything is okay. And the version. Now we open a new tab, go to the IP address from our server 192.168.129.38, port 9000, as you can see before. Enter. You see we have portainer, admin is the username, and we select a password. Permit. Create user. Ebola. We are inside. The next step is to open it, get started, click on it, and as you can see, we have local. You see here the latest news from Portainer, Portainer 2.33.0. Long time support. As you can see, we have the latest version. Dismiss it. Click on local. So that's the one of this computer. Click on it. And we have everything here. Co por containers. The portainer container. Images. Again, one from portainer. Networks. We have bridge, host, and none. Default and Portainer default. Also volumes. Portainer don't have volumes. We are at the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Thank you very much and see you later.